Jackie the Park Ranger. And my name's Squeakers. We, we read, read the Bible, Bible and we help each other. So explore with us. Today's the day. Let's see what the Bible has to say. Hey everybody, my name's Parky the Park Ranger. And I'm Squeakers the Squirrel. Woo, 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 oh. woo. Celebrate. Oh, oh. And we're so glad you're here to help us tell another great story from the Bible. Squeakers, you seem like you're in a really good mood. You're dancing, having a good time. What's going on, buddy? Oh, I'm so excited. So you remember last week when I told you that I helped Wanda the Woodpecker with her science fair project, but she didn't tell the teacher that I helped, so I didn't get to go to the museum with her? Yeah. Okay, well, she told the teacher that I helped her, so we both got to go to the museum. Oh, that's fantastic, oh, Squeakers. Oh, wait, it gets better. What? Also, not only did I get to go to the museum, but I also got to be the teacher's helper. Oh, how cool. So, so what does that mean? What do you get to do? Oh, that means I get to call all the shots. I'm going to send Timmy the turtle back to the principal's office and teach him a lesson. Oh, why is that? Because he was mean. Oh. So now's my chance to get him back. Squeakers, it sounds like you might be trying to take revenge on Timmy. I don't know if I would put it that way. I've got an idea. You know how we've been telling the story of Joseph over the last couple weeks? Yeah? Aren't we almost done with our story? We are. Today we'll finish the story of Joseph, and I think there might be something important that we could learn from it. Oh, okay. Well, let's do it. Well, for everybody joining us that maybe hasn't heard the beginning of the story of Joseph, would you mind telling them kind of where we are and what's happened so far to Joseph? Of course. All right, so our story began with a man named Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons. One of them, his name was Joseph, and that was his favorite. And he gave him a coat of many colors. Ooh. Ooh. Now, the other brothers got really jealous, so they threw Joseph in a pit, oh. and then they sold him to slavery. Oh, no. I know, it was very sad. Then Joseph started working for a man named Potiphar, and he was doing pretty good. But then Potiphar's wife told a lie, and it was something Joseph didn't do, and he got thrown in prison. Oh! It was very sad, but while he was down in prison, God still used Joseph. Ooh. He did. There was two men down there that had dreams, and Joseph was able to interpret their dreams. Wow. And one of the guys was released from prison, and he went back to Pharaoh, and one time, Pharaoh had a dream. What? Yes, and Pharaoh said, can anybody tell me what my dream means? And the guy that got out of prison said, oh, I know, I know. While I was in prison, there was a man named Joseph, and he helped me, so I know he can help you. Oh, wow. Yeah, so then it gets even better. So the Pharaoh releases Joseph from prison, <gasps> and he says, Joseph, can you interpret my dream? And Joseph was able to do it, and then he became the right-hand man to Pharaoh. Wow, great job, Squeakers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You remembered that story very well. Thanks. It was a doozy of a long story. <laughs> it is. It's a really good story. And if you'd like to follow along with us, today our story will finish in Genesis chapters 42 through 45. Book of Genesis. Now, just like you said, Squeakers, He's now the right hand to the king, the pharaoh, the ruler of all of Egypt. Woo He's got a lot of power. He does. Well, the reason that pharaoh appointed him to this position was to help them because a famine was approaching. <gasps> What's a famine? Good question, Squeakers. A famine is a period of time where there's no food. <gasps> no food? How will they survive? Exactly. And this famine wasn't just in Egypt. It was everywhere. <gasps> People from countries all over didn't have any food to eat. Oh no, what were they gonna do? Well, that's exactly what Pharaoh thought, and that's why he hired Joseph. You see, Joseph was smart. They had seven years of lots of food, extra food, okay. so much food, in fact, that they lost count. Whoa! So Joseph saved up all this food during the years of plenty to prepare for the times when there were years of famine. Oh, that was very smart. Go, Joseph. Very smart. Well, remember how Joseph's family with Jacob, his dad, and all his brothers, remember how they lived back in the land of Canaan? Yeah. Well, there was a famine in Canaan, too. Oh, no. Yeah, they had no food to eat. They were starving. So what'd they do? Well, Jacob had heard that Egypt had lots of food saved up, so he sent his sons to go to Egypt and buy some food from the Pharaoh. <gasps> 
Did they run into Joseph? You're exactly right, Squeaker. <gasps> but here's the thing. They thought Joseph had died, so they didn't recognize him. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah, they came before Joseph, and they said, uh, My Lord, my sir, I would like to buy some food. And they didn't recognize him, but Joseph recognized his brothers, and he thought, hmm, I wonder if they feel bad for selling me into slavery. Yeah. I think I'll test them. Yeah. So you know what he did? What'd he do? He accused them of being spies. What? He said, you're all being spies from another nation. <gasps> oh, and they yeah. said, no, 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 no. We're not spies. We just want to buy some food. Yeah. And so he thought, maybe if I ask him a couple more questions. And so he said, who's your father? And they said, Jacob, Jacob. It, we're, we're, we're 12 sons. There's 10 of us here. There's one back home named Benjamin. And there was another one named Joseph <gasps> who died. And we really miss him. <gasps> and Joseph heard this. And he realized that his brothers felt bad for selling him to be a slave. The people that, that had ruined his life yeah. now felt sorry for it. But he wanted to test their loyalty. And so he said, one of you must be thrown into prison. And the rest of you go back to your home, grab the last son, Benjamin, and bring him before me. So they did that. They went, they got Benjamin, and they all came back. Now, here's the best part, Squeakers. Oh, I'm ready for it. They're in Joseph's throne room. <gasps> and Joseph dismisses all of his guards to where no one else is in the room but him and all his brothers. Oh, what does he tell him? And you might be thinking, this is when he's going to get revenge. Yeah, this is when he's going to get him back for oh. selling him. Yeah, he's got power. He could, he could send them to prison. Yeah, in your face, brothers. Yeah, but let's see what he does. Okay. It says right here, come near to me. So he called the brothers near to him. And taking off his Egyptian clothes, he revealed himself. I am Joseph, <gasps> your brother. <gasps> what they say? He said, I'm the one you sold into slavery. So don't be angry for selling me here because God sent me ahead of you to preserve life and save others. For what you meant for evil, God turned into good. So he showed forgiveness to his brothers, wow. even though his brothers didn't treat him very nice. You're exactly right, Squeakers. He was in the perfect position to get them back. But instead, he chose to forgive them. And, and, and it goes on to tell us that he even invited all of his brothers to live with him in Egypt. Oh, wow. Wow. That is a lot of forgiveness. I mean, he loved his brothers, even though they had mistreated him and were the whole reason his life was horrible. He was now in a position to forgive them and love them the way he wanted to be loved. Well, Perky, now that you put it that way, I feel bad for wanting to send Timmy Turtle to the principal's office. Mm. But I just got angry and mad because he was mean. But I guess if Joseph can forgive his brothers and show them love and forgiveness, then I can show love and forgiveness to everyone, including Timmy the turtle. That's exactly right, Squeakers. And I'm so proud of you for, for realizing that. And you see, the greatest gift of all and, and the biggest forgiveness that we could ever learn about? Yeah? Guess who? Who? It's God's forgiveness for all of us and what we've done. You see, when he sent his son Jesus to this earth, Jesus took everybody's sin and forgave everyone for every sin they ever did. Can you believe that? I can't. Wow. That's a lot of love and forgiveness. It is. And, and you're exactly right. If, if Jesus can forgive us for everything we've done, and if, if Joseph can forgive his brothers, then you're right. We can forgive those that are mean to us and hurt our feelings. We can. So you guys at home, we want to encourage you guys, show love and forgiveness to people in your life this week. Oh, well, I'm so proud of you. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you had a really good time. I know I love this story. Uh, did you? Oh, I did. It was so much fun. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we can't wait to see you real soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Glad you joined us. We'll see you soon. But before, before we, we go, go, we've got, got one last tune. God loves me. And God loves you. No, no matter, matter what, what you say or what, what you do. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. We've learned what the Bible has to say.